Okay, for one thing, these are way too busy. So I really think you should just separate these. This is always a good process to use. I pulled all the numbers out there. And then here, let's put the A to the first. And there's another A right there. Here's an A squared. And here's an A. Okay, let's do B. Uh, no B, no B. B squared is the only one in the top. I've got a B in the bottom. And a B cubed. Already did that A. C, C cubed, C. And the bottom C, C squared. That's all the C's. F cubed. F to the fourth, F. Okay. So let's see. Six goes into that, two. Six goes into that, three. Three goes into three once. Two goes into eight, four. In my final answer, I'm going to have a 4 down here at the bottom. Okay, those two take these two out. I'm going to have an A in the bottom. This leaves a 1. Let's see, that B squared takes two of those, B times B, B squared in the bottom. 3, 4, 2, 3. Got a C in the top. Finally had something in the top. See, this is 5. We're going to have an F squared down there. So we really should get C over 4A, B squared, F squared. That's the answer. So you don't have to really write it that way, but if you do, you'll get them all right. We'll be back.